Told him a hundred times, no cycling in the office. I'm Charlie, I work in development, and I was the team captain for the 2019 Ride to Conquer Cancer. It's a ride, not a race, so it's open to beginners and experienced riders, and it's a chance for everyone in Polygon to pull together to raise money and to raise awareness for cancer. Hi, I'm David Underhill, Site Superintendent with Polygon Construction. I've ridden a bike before, but not for a lot of years. Just dug the old bike out of the garage, pumped up the tires, and did a little bit of training, probably less than I should have done, and uh, went out and did it. I can do it, anybody can do it. One of the things about the ride that really surprised me is that um, there's all kinds of different uh, people out there. Yeah. There's people who ride a lot, and there's people who don't ride a lot. We had the, the absolute joy of riding the cancer ride together a couple weeks ago, and I know that for me, and I'm sure for Taylor too, it was an absolute perfect experience in every sense of the word, from the actual biking part to just spending time with our fellow polygoners. My name is Benjamin Lim. I work for customer service for almost eight years. I never own a bike. I never ride a bike, bike before. And having a bike is not in my bucket list, but I've decided to buy a bike to ride for this Ride to Conquer Cancer. The ride was really um, very emotional. Uh, it humbles myself. Um, especially a month before the ride, my mom was diagnosed with uh, cancer. She had an operation on the day of my ride and she was, uh, uh, she, the cancer was removed. Uh, she, 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 she survived from the cancer. Well, I decided to join the Ride to Conquer Cancer in honor of my best friend Christian, who passed away in 2016 from cancer. And I've never owned a road bike prior to May this year. I've never ridden further than 20 kilometers and now I can say that I've done over 220 in two days. Uh, and just the community of, of, you know, having each other's back and being on a team and being able to raise money for something that's bigger than yourself, it, to me, is that's where the real magic is. And being able to cross that line with fellow polygoners was, was a, truly a moment I'll never forget. This was the first year I did the Ride to Conquer Cancer. Um, I've been wanting to do this for several years. I've been affected by cancer like many other people. I've had close friends. I've had a friend pass away at the age of 35. Uh, both my parents were diagnosed with cancer at the same time. Uh, my mom passed away three years ago. My dad survived. I saw firsthand uh, the great work that uh, BC Cancer Association uh, does and I've always wanted to give back to them and Polygon uh, wanted to put in a, a team to do the Ride to Conquer Cancer this year and it, it was an easy decision for me to join the team and give back to the BC Cancer Association. It's more than just a ride because there's an underlying deeper reason to get out there and do it. It made me very proud to, to uh, be part of the, the, the Polygon team, riding to, in support of those that we've lost to cancer, those that are still fighting cancer, raising money for research for, for people in the future and trying to find a cure to cancers. 2019 is the first time Polygon signed up a team for the Ride to Conquer Cancer. And we want to do it again next year. We want to be bigger, we want to be better, and we want to make more of an impact. The Ride to Conquer Cancer to me was a very gratifying experience and it's something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing next year. My goal next year is to see larger team, raise more money, and find a cure for cancer. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Let's help we'll find a cure. Come ride with us in, in 2020. 2020. We'll see you on the ride. I'll be the guy in the polygon shirt. I'm always ready to ride.